I got a bit distracted by something tonight, and uh, I thought I'd show it off. Uh, so this is Skullgirls, which I downloaded a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I hadn't played any 2D fighters like it before, uh, but this really caught my eye because of its uh, variety of characters, its huge attention to detail, and uh, I'm told it has a really in-depth fighting system. I'm just a beginner, but it explains it well, but it's just the right level of uh, abusable for by experts, and it forms a really balanced uh, playing platform. Also, it has loads of boobs in it. Anyway, one of the characters is Big Band, who is this uh, anthropomorphic saxophone here. And Mr. Band's signature move is that he can take out his trumpet, and then your controller suddenly turns into a set of valves that you can use to parp out tunes at your opponent, and there are YouTube videos of people playing really impressive songs on this. But being a programmer, I thought, how could I get some songs into here for Big Band to play automatically? And that attitude is why I'm decent at programming, but I'm decent at very little else. So this is the absolutely timeless Modplug tracker uh, with a song that I wrote a while ago, The Day the Night Slept. And uh, what we want to do is get this vocal track into the game somehow. We're, we're just interested in channels 1 and 2. There's a harmony that comes in later. The first stage of that is to fling it through Java. Uh, I have uh, a mod to MIDI converter that I wrote a while ago uh, that I could change for this. Uh, I, I'm using the JMod library and the uh, JFU... Uh, how do you pronounce that piece of music? JFuge. JFugu. JSymphony software. We take a track from the original file, we uh, interpret it, and we put it into a music string. You can see uh, you can see what uh, JFuge's uh, music string looks like down here. It's got MIDI note numbers, uh, how long they should last, rests, and so on. So uh, we tell it to look at track one. Uh, we get the uh, string out of that, and then. Uh, we can map that. Instead of going to MIDI like I did before, uh, we go to a sort of big band valve script uh, where you have uh, the six controls, you've got uh, whether it's a low, medium or high note, and uh, you interpret the uh, duration of the uh, whole and half note script here as well. So that gets flung into this sort of automatic parpadron that I've written here. This is uh, one channel for each player, and we've got the uh, piano reel-like notes going through. And this interprets those notes, decides which key it should simulate pressing. Uh, you can see it actually coming up on Notepad. So there we go, the, the keys are just uh, pressed automatically as the uh, program cycles through the piano roll. Uh, so it produces what looks like uh, random angry flailing, so eventually Given enough time, this will produce a fairly convincing Daily Mail article. So let's reset this again and see what happens in the game while it's running. 